we have a quick little Costco haul here today. I'm gonna show you everything that I just had delivered to me. I got a few things that I'm repurchasing from the last Costco haul that I did. If you wanna see that one, I'll have it linked in the description box. But then I also have some new things. I've honestly been spending so much time just like watching Costco haul videos and like wanting to like try out some new recipes and stuff. Wanting to just like have food on hand because I'm home all the time, you guys. If you happen to be new here, I homeschool the kids. I'm always here in my house. And I feel like every two seconds I'm being either asked for a snack or somehow my body is reminding me that I need to eat and then I go to my fridge and I'm like, I have nothing that looks appealing, appetizing. I'm sorry, that's like a tangent. That's like a video for another day. But I'm just gonna show you what I got. I actually placed this order via Instacart because to go to Costco at this point in my life right now with the six month old, like it just wasn't gonna happen. Instacart had like a $40 off coupon today or some kind of promo. So I was like, perfect. I'm gonna place my Costco order today and then that way it's not like so much more, you know, not going into the store. First thing that I got, I finally picked up this giant packet of the fully cooked chicken breast bites is what they're called. I thought that these would be fantastic for like Joe's lunches primarily because my husband goes to work. He spends $1,400,000 every day on lunch, eating out, going to restaurants, ordering DoorDash, whatever. So now there is no excuse for Joseph Fields to be very mad that I bought this, but he can make salads here at home and then take them to work. Or what I can do is I can just cook a bunch of rice or maybe like some quinoa and then give him one of these to take that way he gets his protein it says 140 calories and 24 grams of protein per serving so these again are perfect if he gets home and he's hungry he can also just snack on them and then today's february 20th i believe i might be off a day or two and then it says that these are good until march 31st so i'm pretty sure that we'll have like enough time to go through these i don't think that these will go bad but i'm here for just like convenience protein because if you think about it if you really think about it if he even uses just like this entire packet of chicken and replaces each of these with like a meal that he would have ordered when he was like at work it would have like paid like it would have made up for the cost of the entire groceries because DoorDash is expensive and eating out every day for lunch is very expensive so there we go this is Joe's lunch a lot of this stuff is stuff that you guys I'm sure have seen I don't know though if you guys have seen these and I'm very excited to share them with you this is the San Pellegrino Italian sparkling drink so there's two flavors blood orange and lemonade I haven't tried the lemonade one yet but the blood orange one we picked up a case at Publix and they were super good I actually have one in the fridge so I can show you what it looks like so story behind these there was a drink that I tried the other day from Trader Joe's that was absolutely delicious it was blood orange I'll see if I can insert a picture delicious like one of the best drinks I've ever had in my entire life but I don't have a Trader Joe's close to me so somebody on Instagram recommended that I pick these up at Publix and so Joe and I did only the pack that I think we got at Publix was like six cans it is really really good not as good as the Trader Joe's one but it definitely gives me that same kind of vibe, that blood orangey taste. So I am a huge fan of these and so is Joe. So I'm hoping the lemonade one is just as good. But it's got zero added sugar. The ingredients, honestly, for like one of these um, more like sparkling drinks didn't seem that bad. If you want to pause that to look at like all of those things, you're more than welcome to. This case I thought was a good deal. 24 cans. And then it's 12 of the blood orange ones and then 12 of the lemonade. So I'll keep you posted on the lemonade, but I'm very excited about having these in the house. Other things that I picked up were butter. I've been going through butter like crazy because we've been baking a ton. So I have like some butter that's a little cheaper that I'm gonna just like throw in if I'm making something that's already unhealthy, then I don't really care that my butter is not the healthiest. I got this packet that brings like 16 sticks of butter. And then I got this butter, which is my favorite, but it's obviously more expensive because it's better for you. Um, I got two of those so we can put this like on our toast and like if we're trying to be a little cleaner about what we're eating then this will be like our eating butter as opposed to our baking bad things for you butter. I did get these yogurts for the kids. I thought that they would like them, the little yogurt pouches. Tony Fields is a great brand. I get a lot of their yogurts so these are organic and it brings like 12 of the strawberry tubes 12 of the mixed berry so for like a quick little snack for the kids this isn't the worst thing that they could eat so i'll put these in the fridge and they have those these taquitos you guys they were such a hit like they are probably not very good for you the ingredients are probably not good at all but to have these in my house i have loved them for a day that i don't feel like making anything for lunch or joe's around and he's like what's for lunch i'm like you can make some taquitos so i keep them frozen you put them in the oven when you want to eat them for like 13 minutes and then you have a nice yummy meal use them as 
appetizers. If you have people in your home, like this is like a, the best thing that you can serve without having to do a lot of work and everybody loves them. In fact, the other day when I took my kids to their like little Valentine's Day party, everybody was supposed to bring something. So some people showed up with bagels, some people showed up with fruit and somebody went ahead and cooked a whole box of these and brought them in like a little container for everybody to eat. And everyone was like, what is this? This is amazing. This is like the perfect party snack. I would have never thought to like preheat these and then take them to a party, but I thought that that was genius and nobody complained. She was like, I did not make them from scratch. It came from the freezer section. They're not homemade and nobody, nobody cared at all because they were delicious. Moving on, I have honestly never had these or that I can remember, that I can recall. These are the Nusa yogurts, but they were on sale. So I got these because Jackson is obsessed with yogurt. And I think that, I mean, like, can they be bad? They're blueberry, strawberry, and lemon. And we've got 12 yogurts. They were just like at a good price. And it says no artificial preservatives, probiotics, good source of protein. So for me, I will eat these with like a little bit of granola on top and Jackson if he's into it and it's good for him then I'm all about it. He's like the pickiest one around here. So we have some more yogurts. I did grab the um, whipped cream because in my house whipped cream goes like we go through this like water. Like we put whipped cream on everything. The kids put whipped cream on their waffles, on their pancakes. Sometimes if I'm trying to be better and just have like a nice like healthier dessert then I'll do like strawberries and whipped cream instead of something like full of chocolate. So this is a three pack. I thought it was a good deal. I did get bacon just because I think their bacon, like the price for the bacon is like fairly decent. The only time I ever buy bacon is either from Costco or at Publix when I can get it like buy one get one free because I'm super cheap and I don't like spending like, how much is bacon these days? Like I don't know, $12 each package of bacon. I feel like bacon is super expensive. So I get this one, it says lower sodium, sugar free. I'm not like a bacon connoisseur. Like I don't really know which bacon tastes the best, but I know that I have a bunch of this in my freezer and I have never once complained when I've made it. So I keep it in the deep freezer and then like if I want to cook some, then I'll thaw it out in the fridge the night before. Usually I'll do that like on a Friday. So that's Saturday morning and like Sunday, like on the weekend, we can enjoy some bacon with our breakfast. So I'm happy with the Kirkland bacon is what I'm trying to say. Random things, I got bananas because we also go through bananas like crazy. I did pick up some goat cheese. I've never tried their goat cheese. Is it good? I hope it's good because I do love goat cheese. And I have a bunch of like those Cars crackers, like the entertaining crackers that I also love, but my favorite thing to put on those crackers is goat cheese. And I haven't had it in a while. For a while there, I was like dairy free because I was nursing Sean. I'm still nursing Sean, but I'm just not dairy free anymore just because that wasn't really what was bothering him. So now that I am back to eating dairy, I picked up some goat cheese. I did look up though, if you can freeze goat cheese because I don't think I'm gonna go through all of this like before it goes bad in the fridge. So I'm thinking of maybe freezing one and then trying to thaw it out and see if it does well. Everything that I read online says that you can put it in the freezer. Hopefully that's the case because I, I just don't want to waste it. The other cheese I picked up is the gorgonzola cheese. I have honestly never even purchased any kind of gorgonzola cheese in my entire life because normally this isn't something that I would eat like on any kind of cheese board. But I have like this random craving to make a gorgonzola cream sauce for pasta. One of my favorite restaurants here in Miami that Joe and I went to this weekend, they serve this pasta. My favorite pasta, love it, and I wanna recreate it at home. And it does call for like a gorgonzola cream sauce. So I'm on Pinterest trying to find the perfect recipe, but every recipe that I found does call for the gorgonzola cheese plus heavy whipping cream. So I picked up these two things. If I can find a recipe and it tastes good, I will share it with you guys because that with some pasta and maybe some chicken, I feel like that's like the perfect just comfort meal or like date night in kind of meal if you wanna be a little more romantic. Okay, other things. I asked the kids if they had any requests from Costco. This was Riley's request, the organic strawberry lemonade. We have loved this. The kids have loved it. And I think it's like two of these for seven something. Like I don't think it's like a bad price. It's definitely a treat. We don't have this every Every day but if the kids want like a beverage and they want something that's not just water or milk sometimes I will give this to them and I love it it tastes delicious I'm sure you could do like a little mocktail situation with this or a cocktail if that's also the route you want to go in but it's very very tasty is what I'm trying to say so happy to have that and then I'm so happy that um, like clementines, what do you call these? Clementines or cuties, whatever these things are, they're back in season and so they're not as expensive anymore and they actually taste good. Like when you get these off season, sometimes they're not juicy and they just taste bad. And we love having these. These are like the perfect snack. I actually had one today with my breakfast. I did eggs, sausage, and then one of these and it's like just the best. So I got a whole thing of that. Tyson chicken strips, also not the healthiest. They're not organic, whatever. 
sorry but they were on sale so that makes me happy and i thought that these would be good just to have in the freezer or either the kids to have just chicken strips or if i want to do like a lazy what is it called that i do sometimes like a lazy chicken parm we could do this like i could make spaghetti and i could bake a couple of these and then put like mozzarella cheese on top some marinara so like the chicken is cooked and you just kind of make it more of like the chicken parm style i've made that a ton serve it with garlic bread and it's just like one of those dinners that's ready in no time and you know what it's tasty and i didn't have to order out these caramel s'mores clusters you guys this was also one of our favorite things that we purchased last time my first costco haul we had ordered these and i wasn't sure if they were going to be good i think i got them because one of you guys recommended them and it was like worth every penny these are delicious i can't have more than like one or two though because then it's like just too much if i am craving something chocolatey then this is such a treat nothing healthy either but still delicious you are going the healthier route though these i also recommend is it just me or like are these bags getting smaller i feel like last time this bag was bigger and this bag it's bigger but i don't know is it shrinkflation what is happening here but regardless i'm sure that they're still like delicious i think the first time i tried them i was excited because they're dairy free um they're gluten free they're organic so just like a healthier treat option a healthier you know like little snack sometimes i put this in the kids like lunch bag when we go to co-op for them to eat joe and i together we will devour this entire bag in one sitting if we let ourselves so highly recommend those and then these i have no idea if they're going to be good if you've tried them please let me know they were also on sale so again just to have like some feel good like fun like treats for us i think you know life is hard and sometimes you just need to pick me up like that all right just a few more things i got the um organic two percent milk for the kids we go through the milk a ton the kids drink milk at least once a day still and it brings three half gallons i don't know if that price is the best to be honest i thought i was getting two full gallons i guess i didn't read the fine print but it's three half gallons but between the kids and all the baking that i do here from time to time we definitely need tons of milk in this house i also got jackson some uncrustables just another one of those convenience things that i can pull out of the freezer and he can have lunch riley do you like these no. the uncrustables no. not so much yeah, she doesn't love these as much, but Jackson does. So it's 18 of them. And I think it came out to like a little over a dollar each sandwich. Is it going to be cheaper if I make my own peanut butter sandwiches? Yes, but this is just, again, for those days where Sean is screaming or I need to put him, you know, to sleep upstairs and I just need something fast. Like this is, this is a stage of my life that I am in and I'm trying to accept it, trying to do the best that I can with the limited time that I have. Offering like a balance, right? Like some unhealthier things with lots of fruit and lots of veggies. Like we're all about balance here in this house if you have not figured it out yet. But this alone, having this in my freezer just will bring me tons of sanity and will save me a lot of stress. So I'm all for that. Then let me just like move some stuff here. This I've never tried, but a bunch of people on the internet said that it was good. And this, I think I paid like $18 for the box. It looks like it would be tasty. I don't know how wrong you can go with orange chicken. And in my mind, it was just, again, one of those replacement meals for those nights when i don't feel like cooking instead of doordash we have this i cook up some rice i cook up some broccoli we have orange chicken bowls you can cook it in the oven you can cook it on the stove top and also in the air fryer it says you don't have to thaw the chicken you just cook it from frozen and then it even gives you some ideas here of ways that you might serve it you could like take this to a party make little orange chicken like stick a little toothpick in them um you can make a wrap you can make some kind of sandwich i'm hoping that that will be delicious then every time that i place a costco order or like one time my sister was at costco she's like do you need anything can i bring you something i'm like bring me one of the chickens because the rotisserie chicken is one of the best prices you can get for rotisserie chicken and then what i will do is i leave this on my counter just for a little bit so it's not hot and then i will tear this apart it's one of the greatest joys in my life to pull apart a rotisserie chicken i don't know why the satisfaction that it gives me i don't know i'm weird but i will take all of the meat off and then i'll just keep it in the fridge and then for me that's one of the things that i can make with several different dinners if i'm like i don't know what to make well i have already chicken that's in the fridge we do a lot of like rotisserie chicken and cuban bread sandwiches like that to me is one of my favorite meals and like anytime we go to Publix, that's what i get the rotisserie chicken plus a loaf of cuban bread i actually had a recipe for um homemade french bread that i want to try it's not sourdough but it's just like french bread so maybe I'll do like a French bread loaf and then we can have some chicken. We could do burrito bowls. Like just a rotisserie chicken is very versatile. And for at least our family, it goes a long way. It lasts for a very long time. Next, I got this pack of the Annie's mac and cheese because this was on sale. It was like $5 off. So to me, it was a great deal. I think maybe $13 I paid, 13 and something. But it brings 12 boxes of macaroni. Finally, 
at this point in my life where my daughter is six and my son is four we are finally at the point where my kids enjoy eating macaroni like it is a miracle <laughs> From the lord himself that my kids now eat mac and cheese because for years it was like oh no i don't like mac and cheese i love mac and cheese but now finally the kids will eat it so for us as a family it's like the perfect side to anything i cook some chicken i make a thing of the macaroni and we like the annies just because it's a little bit better then i'll do like um some kind of green so we'll do green beans or we'll do peas the kids will eat peas so like the other day their dinner was chicken peas carrots and some macaroni so this is a staple and it's also a staple in like our back stock food so i have a specific section in our garage of like all the stuff that i keep back stock of and one of the categories is macaroni just because we go through it so quickly awesome for those emergency prepper situations you boil some water and you have a meal for your family and then this is boring too this is just the five dozen eggs these are not the healthiest eggs but again for baking purposes where i don't really need for the eggs to be super healthy i like looking in my fridge and knowing that i have tons of eggs that i'm not gonna like find a recipe that calls for eggs and then i'm like wait i'm out of eggs or then like if i use it in a recipe then i don't have eggs for breakfast five dozen eggs lots of eggs and then i'll look for healthier ones for like my actual like breakfast eggs and then this is the last thing this is something that i've been wanting to try forever i've been wanting to try it for the longest time it's like i guess costco has a bunch of pre-made meals that you can go and pick up and then you can have it for lunch or dinner this is our dinner for tonight so that again is awesome because i don't have to cook anything it looks like it brings a good amount of chicken brings a bunch of tortillas i think it brings what 12 tortillas it says chicken street taco kit 12 counts i would imagine 12 tortillas but everyone will eat from this i have a little bit of extra mexican cheese in the fridge if that's not enough cheese but it brings salsa it's got a cilantro lime cream sauce whatever which i probably will be able to use for another recipe like later on in the week so even if it feeds us once which i think it'll probably feed us more than that but even if it just feeds us once it's 16 dollars anything that joe could have picked up on the way home would be more than 16 dollars even like pdq is more than 16 dollars and most definitely ordering doordash would be way more than $16. Now my friends, everything that I got at Costco this time. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's still stuff that I have not tried, like favorites of yours that I should pick up next time. I'm still in the business of just trying to find like those staple things that I need in my home from Costco. That way when we get to the point where I can like physically go in person, then I can stock up on those things. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you wanna see more of these videos. Let me know if you end up trying anything that you saw here. If you end up trying these also, let me know what you think. I have just really enjoyed it. It's so refreshing. And especially me that I don't drink these days. Like I'm first of all nursing Sean. So like I, I don't really drink even if I had like that huge desire. I personally don't have a huge desire to drink at this point just because it also upsets my stomach. So this I can pour in like a nice fancy glass and it kind of gives me that sense of like I'm enjoying something just a a little bit more elevated than water i don't know whatever it's fun it's delicious so i would highly recommend that you try it so that's it thanks for being here i love your faces make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys